Hi guys, it's Sarah with Grassroots Evolution Tarot, and I'm here today to bring you a love and soul connection message for the sign of Sagittarius. Keep in mind it's general, so take what you feel resonates for you. Disregard the rest. Go about your mind. Your Go about your day, my friends, and know that no matter what messages come through, it's still up to you and your active free will, the choices you make and the steps you take in this world to get whatever fulfillment it is you'd like to see. To me, that's personal freedom, personal power, and it lies at the tips of your fingers and at the soles of your feet. But also remember, my friends, that sometimes when things don't go the way that we want, this is spirit kind of coming in. And what I heard is there's a tip, tip the wings. Um, for some of you, that may be what you felt like if things didn't pa work in the past, but it may be that we just weren't ready to fly at that altitude yet. But the messages that I heard before, while I was shuffling, and I felt like saying that this was actually going to be the, the title of the reading before I even got there, which is weird, but is moving on to higher commitment. So there may be a point where if things in the past didn't work out and you feel like maybe your wings were clipped a little bit, now is the time where we are coming to a higher moment of commitment within ourselves, within our relationship, and a higher point of ascension. So we're all on this ride together. Let's be kind to each other as well as whatever is faithful. So for some of us, we may have been like um, unfaithful in the past or this may be something that's happened within our relationship. Keep in mind the messages that I'm coming through with, they are for soul connections. So it may be for a soul soul mate, a soul to soul bond, a soul partner or soul contract that you've had. So just take it how it resonates. These people manifest as many different ways in our life, our friends, our partners, you know, our loved ones, our co-workers, our teachers, our friends. So I'm going to take a moment before I get into the reading to call in Archangel Michael, my team of light, any of your spirit guides that would be here for the highest good of the entire collective to join us as well, as well as Archangel Metatron. And I'm going to ask them to guide, guard, bless, and protect myself this reading and any of you who would ask for it to use me as the clearest channel possible, delivering messages that are for the farthest reaching of you, but for the highest good of all of us involved. So for all my subscribers, I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for being here. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. If at the end of this you'd like to see more, you you resonated, I'd love to have you along this ride. Hit subscribe, please. Join this journey with me. So I'm going to start off with the energy oracle. Now what I'm going to do is three different piles. I'm going to do a pile for your energy, a pile for your soul connection energy, and then the space in between, kind of like the yin and the yang, or the shared energy. Keep in mind this energy is fluid, so it could swap, as well as this message is timeless. So when Whenever you encounter it, if you feel like it's for you, it may be. Again, remember that you have the power in this world to create positive change at the tips of your fingers, the soles of your feet. That's your personal power. So you have the world here and you also have victory. For some of you, that, that feeling of that clipped wings, I definitely pick up on that. That you're feeling maybe like there could be a situation right now where... Um, some victory that you wanted or some success that you wanted seems a little bit out of reach or far reaching. We also have decision in or indecision in the reverse. So interesting. One more card, please, Spirit. For Sagittarius, please, here. Thank you. And Cornucopia. For some of you guys, the bottom of the deck is the woman holding the coin. This could be you, this could be a woman around you, but I definitely feel like for some of you, I think this is you holding your own um, and realizing that there may have been a situation like you picked up earlier, right? That something from the past where you did not feel like whatever you did, whatever you poured your hard earned energy or your hard earned money into, it didn't pan out. You did not experience the fruits of your labor. It didn't work how you thought it would. But what I feel like is it's really time now to own your worth. You do you, baby. Because the universe has what I heard is some powerful spirit guides. Here along the way, we have a butterfly to show you the way. And to help you really see just what you can, um, what you're worth. And as well as what I heard is financially prosper. So there could be something you're working on right now. Or there could have been a project. This could be, you know, a team partnership just how it resonates right this could even be like um love at work kind of stuff but i feel like this is also picking up on the energy some of the past stuff that didn't work out what i heard is don't be afraid to fail because 
you're still going to have what you came into this with. Um, for some of you, I do feel like if that walking or whatever you've walked away from is just going to bring you a lot of abundance and prosperity. And as well as, you know, you may have been in, I heard, limbo. You may have had a lot of indecision on making the decision that was the best for you, especially if you knew it was going to hurt some people. Um, but I feel like this is important on moving into a higher part of our ascension journey, a higher commitment to ourself, as well as what I heard is a higher commitment to learning, a higher commitment to helping humanity. And that part of this higher learning and a higher commitment to ourselves is really releasing things that are outdated for us in our world, outdated relationships, outdated mantras, ways of thinking. So this doesn't necessarily mean it's a relationship that is being walked away from or that there's no victory. It could just be even a mindset or some some way we were looking at things that we realized, you know what, I've had it wrong this time. I'm going to switch it up. So for some of you, again, that could be that we thought spirit clipped our wings, but really they were just um, keeping us grounded for a little bit of time because they didn't want us to get too tired flapping our wings up there in the universe when our big moment was almost coming. But if we were up there showing everyone the beauty of our wings and diving and swooping and being glorious angels that we are, spirits like, if if they did that, you might miss your chance. They wanted to make sure that you were in the right position to experience the abundance and the fulfillment that's coming to you. Patience is in the reverse here. I'm going to grab a message actually for this. Caring connections is where they brought me to. And they brought me right away to friendship, partnership of two, possible love. Like, um, what I heard is as well, the universe doesn't take without something. There's a give and take. There's a law of cause and effect. And if one energy is being removed, or I heard depleted, but if one energy is being removed, something else is going to come in its place. So patience number 16. And in the reverse. Which is about peaceful presence, letting go of desperation. This may be... Hmm. Peaceful redirection is the message when this card is reversed. Open up to the options available to you, even if they aren't yet totally clear. The universe supports you when you allow its influence to help direct your outcomes. And when you open to okay, and when you open your imagination to all of the potential situations around you, the key is to keep moving forward without frantic need or urgency. Don't give up on your goal. Initiation and renewed action are needed now, so keep an open eye to new and expected opportunities around you. You may be surprised where they lead. The affirmation is, I pursue my goals with open receptivity. I am patient and flexible, willing to receive in many surprising and imaginative ways. Don't give up on whatever you're working on because you've perceived that it failed. The only time we fail is when we don't try. So I think that this is really important that it may be, again, the mindset that was holding you back or an indecision towards victory and abundance. And again, I heard financial prosperity and success. It's just don't give up. You could be, they have action on the bottom here as well. It is important to come at whatever you, any failures I heard, make this a success by learning from the situation. You know, what, what can be taken from it? What can be gained from it? And moving on. Um... So let's find the soul connection energy, please, here, Spirit. I feel like you just may be really, really focused on your career, focused on your job opportunities, focused on your finances, focused on your money, focused on you right now. And that is really important as well because we, if we have this commitment to ourselves and commitment to our goals, this is going to be that when a partner comes into our world that is, um, I heard of liked minds and are worthy of us, this is adding something beautiful to a world that is already beautiful because we've created it that way. And you have the angel of love here, which is really, really beautiful energy to be coming in with, with adjacent possibilities at the bottom. Um, underneath there, they had walking away in the reverse, goddess of the moon in the reverse, financial constraints. So this could be, I heard, like within a partnership, like love or romance as well. Um, like within, obviously, love or romance. You have a woman holding the heart at the bottom. I do feel like... If what 
you feel like if there has been a relationship that didn't work out and you are still living with your partner, um, you know, there's probably what I feel like a lot of love between you and like this situation, whatever I'm picking up on in the one hand, it's like, it's, you guys are more like friends. You may actually still be living together because finances are a little bit tight. Um, and this would be holding back, walking away. I heard this could also get in the way of new relationships and here's where we just have to have patience towards the goal and really hold your own because there is a real need for separation financially and you know physically at this time. This I do feel like again this could be you if you're in separation living in the same house feeling like holding back love or this could be them holding back love from other people because while they're living with you they don't want to disrespect you like that. Now, that's just part of it. I think some of this as well is that there's a financial constraints and that the energy over here is there is a lot of love here, right? And this needs to have a lot of strength and think outside the box, you know, prioritize as well where money goes, making sure food stays in the cupboard. And um, also what I heard is this may be going to different grocery stores to make sure that we can, you know, price match or shop the best sales <laughs> it's funny that that's coming in and I love reading but I'm gonna grab this there's goddess of the moon and walking away both of these were in the reverse so I'm just gonna grab number 52 and this talks about intuition going within and blocked intuition or okay and number 27 Letting go, moving on, maybe feeling stuck in the present situation, right? So we're blocking our intuition. We may be feeling pretty stuck. I do feel like on this too, it's because if we're going through a lot of financial hardships or if we're going through a lot of issues, finances can be pretty stressful. I definitely feel like over here though, they're blocking out some stuff and they are feeling stuck in the situation. Could even be like on this side, if you're ready to move on and find some peaceful transfer transition the person you're dealing with is not ready for that okay um so let me move on and see what messages we have now this could be because depending on the situation um this higher commitment if it's within marriage i feel like this could be because you know once things are back on track like this financial success and the adjacent possibilities and your feeling of, you know, being let down and not having enough here with the cornucopia was in the reverse, victory was in the reverse. I mean, when things like this happen with the partnerships, both people are going to feel like their wings are clipped, right? Both people aren't going to feel good about it. And I heard, especially if it's about job loss or someone's lost their job, right? Financial security is a real strain on the relationship. Um, for some of you, I do feel like as well, like this may be that one or both of you aren't financially stable enough, um, to, to carry your own as well. So I have here the three of swords in the reverse and the eight of swords in the reverse. Someone wants to get out of heartbreak, but I do feel like there's this, but how? Because the Eight of Swords is letting go of some stuff that needs to go. This could be replaying as well in our minds. Um, Spirit, can you tell me a little bit more about this Three of Swords with the Eight of Swords? And you get the Queen of Pentacles. Which to me over here as well is here. Right? This is this woman holding a coin. The Queen of Pentacles. They're very, very boss babe kind of thing. They're very, very, I, um, you know, regardless of... What happens in their life, they know that they're taken care of and they're stable. And they're abundant and fruitful. So I feel like this is important where we get this this wanting to, you know, really release the heartbreak and the burdens of the past. But this could still show up in thought loops. So this is that mentality where, um, for some of you, it is anxiety about money in the past. Or this is also like this heartbreak, please. It could be as well being the Queen of Pentacles that even though you're trying to remove yourself from this energy, um, I feel like with the heartbreak, you're not being very forthcoming with how you're feeling about this situation. That's something we're trying to kind of hold down or block. 
Whereas on this side, on the soul connection side, they definitely feel like they've blocked their intuition. They're blocking their connection to spirit. You have the Knight of Wands here in the reverse as well. No action being taken with the Princess of Swords. Interesting. Now what I heard is with this is because maybe um, there could be a lot of heated discussions. There could be a lot of anger. There could be a lot of frustrations that really need to come out. And you feel like, again, being stuck. There's this Knight of Wands in the reverse. It, it's on friggin' fire. It needs to run. Find a friggin' watering hole to jump into. Cool itself off. But it's just sitting there burning with nowhere to go. This stuff, what I heard, will eat you there's something whatever it is that you're feeling stuck and stagnant on spirit's saying hold on to your creative passion don't give up on those goals because there needs to be some sort of renewed energy towards this you may feel it a stalemate find a hobby do something that takes your mind off of the situation it eases the situation um and as well as what i heard is it may be really important to kind of follow these spirit nudges or if you feel like, hey, I want to draw this or do this. This is spirit coming through you. Do it because it could be very healing and transformative for you. With the Princess of Swords, I do feel like there's going to be a lot that brings in new understandings because you also have the Six of Swords here about moving on to calmer waters, onto brighter days. The Ace of Pentacles as well. Now, it kind of looked like it was in the reverse. I think it's because I do feel like in some ways this despair energy, it's going to take some time to really get out of um, that energy of our wings have been clipped. Because even here, if you look at her, she looks sad to me. She looks kind of like, yes, I have this. This is mine, but this is mine. Her face... Um, does not seem to me very content with what she has. So I think there's a major spiritual lesson unfolding here that we need to see things differently because if we're always viewing things in terms of um, how much it is that we have or if we're always looking at the material things and this material things isn't just money, okay? It's status and relationship, it's the car, it's the house, those are material, I guess, but this is more than that. It's because something needs to be forgiven, is what I heard. And I also heard, like, on your end, there may have been a place where, um... It's just whatever you were pouring your energy to, it's been on halt, put on pause or that stalemate energy again in here. The bottom of the deck is the Fool and Rose first, so we'll get a little bit more into that, but you're definitely on pause too. Tell me about the soul connection, please, Spirit. What is the energy of the soul connection? The love, Two of Cups. Two of Cups. For some of you, um, I do feel like for some of you, this person could have chosen their Two of Cups elsewhere and that's caused some problems. I don't feel like the majority of you, I feel like the majority of you is that this person over here, like you are, you are the love of their life because we had walking away, not ready, not ready to let it go, ignoring intuition. There may be over here, though, as well, where you both, if if this is a desired out, like, okay, some of you, you may want this. Some of you, you may not want this. Well, someone's stuck on you, even though there's other options. It's you. It's just the finances are an issue. So tell me more about this two of cups, please, spirit, with the adjacent possibilities. You have the two of swords that came out in the reverse. You have the Knight of Swords that came out in the reverse. I feel like they don't know how to speak to you. They don't know how to talk to you. The Princess of Pentacles here. Wanting to come forward. And here's how I feel like on your end too. They know that you hold the keys. They know that you have the abundance. They know that you hold the coin. Right? They know that you have 
you are stable you are a full package you are what <clears throat> excuse me they've wanted what they want and what i heard is almost like what they want to be so for some of you as well as what i heard is you may be in a same-sex partnership as well <clears throat> but I feel like they want to offer you something, but because of the financial restraints that they have, it's not like they have a lot to offer. Um, the song I'm hearing is the Backstreet Boys. But my love is all I have to give. Without you, I don't think I could live. I wish I could give my world to you, right? Because my love is... Sorry about butchering it. But my love is all I have to give. I do feel like on this side, this whole connection side, where you may have been really, really strongly focused on career and finances, they are too, but there is this moment of their love is all they have to give in this situation because they're pretty financially strapped. Now, I do feel like with this indecision here, you had indecision as well. Very, very mirroring type energy and also i feel like this kind of light dark like victory abundance and in in not walking away on your side there is a lot more focused on our dough focused on here I, you could resonate more with an earth sign and this could be totally flopped around that you know you are just not ready to walk away but you don't have much to offer other than your love right now and someone else around you is really moving through some soul lessons um, before they can kind of accept this pinnacle that you're offering. So I want to get a little bit about this Knight of Swords with the Peace, please, and the Two of Swords. Why are they both in the reverse? Sorry, you guys. Uh, they're showing me that Star of David or Merkaba as well with Ascension. I threw a whole bunch of cards here, the Empress could be Taurus you're dealing with. You have the Eight of Cups. It was in the reverse with Abandoned Success. Um, I threw so many out, but I'm going to grab them because I think they're important. You have the Material Happiness with the Ten of Cups. The Tower. Definite changes needing to be made. The Six of Cups with Pleasure and Happiness and Fulfillment and Reunion. And finally going after our dreams with the Fool. The Ten of Cups, the Moon, this could be Cancer, this could be we just um, went through a full moon, as well as you have the Seven of Wands with Valor here and Bravery, and I think that th there are a lot of changes need to be made. The Sun is on here. I'm going to flip it over, take it out of the reverse, because I think that a lot of us forget, you know, that sometimes we get upset with our partners that they they have things they can work on but we forget like it's going to take two here they're singing you love as a battlefield but it shouldn't have to be right um i know it's young as heartache to heartache we stand we think that you know everything's got to be hard and it doesn't it's a mentality shift um so definitely your person there's so much love but again there's this in inability to communicate with you or to move forward and this needs to change i think that coming more through here with this nine of cups having material success right not being able still to walk away from something though and i think that it's like this this inability to communicate being with wanting to move forward but this hidden emotions there may be more to the picture there may be hidden fights that they're going through as well right now hidden tower moments this could be I heard as well mental instability right um, the Empress energy that's coming that's strongly coming through here though is like this person I heard they may see you as their divine feminine they may see you as the other half of their soul or their counterpart um, I definitely feel like that this it's definitely a spiritual connection spirit what else would you have us know here princess of cups with 
They're showing me this and they're showing me again the tower. There may be um, something that happens really fast that changes things for this person um, that has kind of come in with her jealousy as well. But there may be, that's what it, there may be strife. There may be some things they're still working on before they can truly come in into your world. Here, again, this is so much focus on being stable and being content and really focusing on what we need to say, what we feel, what we think, and holding in really high balance here. Because I do feel like you may be a little bit guarded just because in the past with our heartbreak, really trying to, what I heard is we need to open that up. Now I'm going to get a, I realize I totally forgot the space between, but what I'm going to do actually is pull a message from the Journey of Love Oracle here from some space between. Please, Spirit, what's the energy of the space between in this connection? So they want me to take two because I was this one was going to flip, which is the Ancient Ones. You are definitely guided by Ancient Ones. And you have God Speaks. And they're telling me to take the bottom, which is the Lovers. The Bride offers herself or the Angels. The top of the deck after that was She is of the Moon. Both of you, I feel, <clears throat> may be very uh, intuitive. However, the soul connection, kind of blocking, right? Blocking those. It may be because their gifts or their spiritual gifts kind of scare them. You may have trouble sometimes opening up to that as well. You may, because if you're more practical, what I heard is there could be a real difference in beliefs here as well. But I want to read to you the middle ones. And right away I'm hearing God speaks because this partnership, it's important to both of you. The universe brought it in with the world too, right? Like there is changes and completions and as the world turns, right? Like one day turns into another. So this is also like taking heed to those spirit nudges focusing on the choices and what we want in love knowing that we paint this as well we paint the colors here on past experiences and it's up to us to choose on you know whatever it was that colored us dirty is what i heard or what hurt us we really want to come at a new relationship open because if you are not with this person the love they have for you, I heard, is infinite. Golden for some of you, if that resonates. We have number 33, which I feel like I heard is Bast in Christ Light as well. So I'm going to hold this up. Any messages that come through, any feelings I trigger, use this. You know, what was it that triggered you? Use that empowered vulnerability. And how can you use this information in your day-to-day -to, -day to create positive change in your world? The divine is speaking to you directly. Underneath the silence, there is an endless music of love pulsating throughout the universe. Within that sacred sound, there is guidance. It may or may not have words. It may be a feeling in your heart that you can only access when you are still relaxed, dancing in a yoga practice, or even half asleep. It assures you that behind any struggle or challenge, there is only ever the divine speaking you out seeking you out, calling you to surrender some fear or doubt or other so you can move closer. Trust in the sound of love beyond anything else, for in truth, no matter what may appear to be, there is nothing else. This oracle brings you guidance. You are loved into becoming. Be open to being shown the divine genius and all that is happening. If you feel you are being nudged, know you are being nudged by the divine. If you feel you are being held back, this is important too. Know you are being held back by the divine. All is happening for you, and all will unfold in divine time. It's a pretty perfect message there, considering, you know, if you feel like you're being held back, it's because the divine is ready to catapult you towards something that I feel like you've done many dances with this person. The ancestors have 
Um, I heard almost willed this. Like, spirit, God, angel, source. It's, it is coming through you. It's up to you to, res I heard, respect it, to honor it, and to follow your heart. Um, be willing to experiencing, some, to experiencing something new in your world. So I'm going to get, and in life, and in love is the more thing. So I got the romance angels to qu finish this out. Energy, tell me. Energy, tell me. On your side, we have give your relationship a chance. I feel like you're, this is maybe what you need to work on, I heard. Because I almost want to say you're willing to. Um, but it's once that communication and movement happens past whatever situation that is blocking this. So you have flirt. We want to give it a chance. Flirt. Show our passions. You have unrequited love with finances and career and stay optimistic. I feel like for some of you, um, you know, because you've been so career driven, you may not even have noticed the times where people or you may not, you may have made people feel like you didn't, weren't interested, or you may not have noticed someone being interested because of where your priorities lie. And this is just where now it's like, you know what? Finances and career could be an issue. Again, if you two are married or you're together and you're both experiencing financial hardship, it totally could be a problem, you know, where it's hard. But this is just saying every day when we work together, when we're on this path in this world together, you know, take the time to give lighthearted moments, cherish each other, flirt with each other, and renew that passion. So the healing family issues is at the bottom whatever is being healed here definitely opens up this could be that re unreported love as well i heard it could be even deep in the child kind of wounding stuff that that's where it's like you really have to remove this feeling maybe that little kid feels like they're unlovable somewhere deep down inside and it doesn't matter how many times someone's going to say i love you if you don't think you're lovable there's only so much that you can believe that and internalize that and feel that so it may be that once we remove that, once we give the relationship a chance in the understanding that we are loved, that we are, I heard, also mutually respected and accepted in this, um, you're going to open this up just for new passion. So you have keep an open mind, children, that your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. Your love life is affected by children. I think also it is just important to keep an open mind about the connection as well. And with the tower here in strife things may happen really quickly for some of you they may have children you may have children together but this just that this is just something really important now to keep in mind an open mind on how it all manifests and to let your friends help you talk to your friends talk to each other i feel like establishing a friendship with each other is also important soulmate with the shared energy as well is yeah this is your soulmate you know that so I at the bottom, this is what I turned it up to, true love. This is the romance of a lifetime, forgiving and learning. If you resonate that whatever this is, is the romance of a lifetime, it is really important to forgive the stuff that's hurt us and not stop us from charging forward. Whatever it is that's delayed, it's, it's only delayed so that you can be ready for it, right? So that, again, you're not flapping around with those pretty beautiful wings, you know, enjoying the bliss to have your moment come and you're too afraid or too out of breath to chase it. So that's the message I have. I love you all and I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.